Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. President Eisenhower warned about the dangers of a scientific and technological elite taking over control of public policy, which is exactly what happened under President Obama. So today I ask the question, can climate scientists be trusted? Scientists say that glaciers and sea ice are melting faster than expected. They say the Arctic is a profoundly different place now, and they say it's going to cost us lots and lots of money. So is the Arctic actually melting faster than they expected? Well, in 2009, Nobel laureate Al Gore predicted that the Arctic would be ice-free by the summer of 2014. Gore didn't just make this claim up. He made his claim based on research from the Naval Postgraduate School and NASA, which showed the Arctic would be ice-free by 2015. In 2008, NASA's top climate scientist, James Hansen, predicted the Arctic would be ice-free in five to ten years, and Democrats in Congress called him a prophet for making that prediction. In 2007, the BBC reported top scientists predicting the Arctic would be ice-free by 2013. They said, in the end, it will just melt away quite suddenly. And you can argue that our projection of 2013 is already too conservative. In 2007, NASA's top Arctic expert, Jay Zwally, predicted the Arctic would be ice-free by 2012. And Mark Ceres from the National Snow and Ice Data Center said, The Arctic is screaming. In 2008, David Barber from the University of Manitoba predicted that the North Pole would be ice-free that summer, as did Mark Ceres from the National Snow and Ice Data Center. Also in 2008, Norway's top Arctic expert predicted that the Arctic ice cap would disappear entirely that summer. In 2013, Cambridge University's top expert said the Arctic would be ice-free no later than 2015. In 2013, the Sierra Club predicted the Arctic would be ice-free that summer. Every year for the past decade, scientists have been predicting an ice-free Arctic. But is that actually happening? Well, the answer is no. Arctic sea ice extent is just about normal. In fact, data from the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, shows that there's been no change in Arctic sea ice extent for a decade. It's not increasing. It's not decreasing. All winter long, we've been hearing from climate scientists that the Arctic is super hot and melting. But it's actually extremely cold in the Arctic. The temperature right now at Barrow, Alaska is 5 degrees Fahrenheit, it's frozen solid, and the ice is a continuous sheet for thousands of miles. It's abundantly clear that scientists can't be trusted about Arctic sea ice, but what about Greenland? They say it's melting down very fast, and that last year, Greenland had their second largest melt on record. The claims about Greenland are also patently false. Greenland is actually gaining ice at a record rate this winter. The claims that Greenland had their second largest melt on record last year are also absurd. Greenland's surface gained 250 billion tons of ice last year, which is very close to normal. The blue line here shows daily melt on the Greenland ice sheet in 2016, and this gray line shows the normal daily melt. You can see that almost every day last summer, Greenland ice sheet melting was below normal. The current temperature in the center of the Greenland ice sheet is 3 degrees Fahrenheit, and scientists are having a terrible time staying above the snow, which has been falling at record rates this winter. So answering my original question, can we trust climate scientists, the answer is a resounding no. Many prominent climate scientists are being dishonest about their past predictions, and they're also being dishonest about what is going on now. Please visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.